Hi family, welcome into our channel. This is Nikki. Thank you for being with us on our broadcast of You Are Enough. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so when we upload these videos, you're not going to miss one single video. I want you to understand that you are making room for people that deserve your life. Anytime you go through a purging, and anytime you go through a shifting, and a shaking God is making room for things that are gonna bring you fulfillment he's bringing things to your life that will improve your life that's gonna make your life better you are making room for people that deserve you this is why people are catching attitudes with you just literally out of the blue because God is allowing these things to happen He's allowing people to really show who they are at this season of your life. So you can bring in the people that really and truly deserve to be a part of your life. And you can't be afraid to let people walk. We talk about this all the time on our channel because I get so many questions about people coming in your life and leaving your life. You know, the enemy wants to point the finger at you to blame you as to why people are coming in your life and why people are leaving your life as fast as they came in it. This is God's way of removing things that you don't deserve. And this is God's way of bringing in your life the things and the people that you deserve. You deserve so much better than everything you've ever gone through with. And this is God's way of showing you this. This is God's way, family of letting you understand and to know that you deserve the very best. You are top tier. You are the apple of God's eye. You are the head. You're not the tail. You are above. You will never again be beneath. So when God takes us through certain things in our lives, we have to understand what God is doing and we need to understand what this means. When people walk away, let them walk away. Because this is God's way of letting you know, this is not what you deserve. This is not the best that I have for you. So in order for you to get the best that God has for you, you have to let old things go. You have to let things come to an end. You want a new beginning? Things have to end. You may be experiencing a lot of endings in your life, but these endings are going to bring new beginnings. They're going to bring new chapters in your life. They're going to bring new opportunities to you they're going to bring open doors they're going to they're going to bring new doors and better doors this is why you can't be afraid to allow things to end you can't be don't be afraid to let things end and don't be afraid to let people walk away don't be afraid to let things come to a complete closure because when things come to a complete closure, when things come to a screeching halt in your life, when God begins to allow people to remove themselves, when people begin to walk out of your life, this is one of God's ways of bringing into things that you don't that you do deserve. And this is God's way, one of his ways where he is removing things that you just don't deserve. You don't deserve to be treated less than a beautiful child of God that you are. You are on an amazing path in your life. The enemy knows it. And he wants you to stay stuck. He wants you to remain in this place with people that are unhealthy for you. Every time you rise up, the enemy is going to do his best to pull you back down into that place because he doesn't want you to move forward. He doesn't want you to get out of the clutches. He doesn't want you to be able to remove those snares and those entanglements that possibly he has you in. So God is going to remove things. He's going to remove them. Even if you've been attached to certain things, he's going to do it because God has nothing but good things in mind for you. God has great things in mind for you. Jeremiah 29, 11 say, God says, I know the plans and the thoughts that I have for you. God's plan is not of evil. They're to give you hope. And they're going to give you a good end. They're going to give you an expected end. God's plan. People had a plan. But God had one too. And God's plan was better. And God's plan for your life is going to supersede. Whatever anybody else could have even imagined or thought. Where you are concerned. So understand that people are leaving your life. Because 
they don't deserve to be there. They don't deserve to be in your spot. They don't deserve to be walking beside you. They don't deserve to sit at your table. They don't. And this is why people are leaving. Let them go. Let them go. Because now you're going to gain what you deserve. Now you're going to get what you deserve. Sometimes we're with wrong people. We can't get what we deserve. Sometimes we can't. And the longer you hold on to it, the, the longer it's going to be before you can gain the things that you desire. It takes strength and it takes courage to do what is difficult, to do what is hard. Because you've been emotionally attached to certain people. But you have to learn by way of the Holy Spirit not to get attached to people emotionally where you can't make a decision where you need to make it, when you need to make it. And we have to be led by the spirit, not the flesh. Because we are a spirit and we live in a body and we house a soul. Things that you deserve, God is ushering these things into your life. People that you deserve, God is ushering these people into your life by removing wrong people. By removing people that only came into your life to make a mess out of your life. You know, some people came in your life just to make a mess out of your life. People came in your life, family, just to get you off course. You have a lot of people that came into your life to snare you, to cause you to go into the wrong direction because the kingdom of darkness couldn't afford, could not afford for you to get to the place where you're going to get to anyway. He didn't want that because he knows the power of your influence. He knows the power of the anointing that you have upon your life. He knows that you're very influential people. God is giving this, you that gift of influence where you can gain people and to help people and to encourage, to motivate and to inspire people. The enemy does not want you to develop your gifts. This is why he will plant people in your life that will cause you to go in a direction that you know you shouldn't go in. This is the enemy's way of snaring you. This is why God is causing an upset in your life. And he's going to allow people that were affiliated with you or who are affiliated with you right now to be a little fickle with you. They're going to be a little fickle. They're going to be up and down with you. They're going to be in and out. Today they will like you. Tomorrow they won't. They'll speak to you today, tomorrow they won't. You're going to go through a lot of spiritual bipolar people. You're going to be affiliated with people who are spiritually bipolar. They're going to be up and down because the enemy wants you to stay on this negative roller coaster. But this is God's way of removing whatever you don't need, whatever you don't deserve, whatever's not beneficial. It's got to go. It's going to leave because newness is is coming in. It's a new day. It's a new season for you. God is going to supercharge your life. God is going to recharge your life. That's exactly what God is going to do. You stand on God's word and you believe on God's word because it is true. God says exactly what he means and he means exactly what he says. You're going to gain whatever you deserve. You're going to gain the right people that you deserve and the things that you did not deserve by the hands of the people who gave it to you that you did not deserve they have to go this is why they don't call you anymore this is why people don't deal with you so much anymore family because they're part of your story is over it truly is over it's over for them but it's just beginning for you understand this this is how you get your new beginning when things close and when things come to an end. This is God's way of giving you a new beginning. I'm so grateful to be able to come into your homes to uplift your spirit. If these videos are helping you along your journey, if you are ins being inspired and motivated, if you are developing a better and a more closer relationship with the Lord, if you are gaining help from insights on these videos, we ask that you like them share them with somebody else that need them because we know that God has good things for you. 
your latter days shall be greater than your former. And God is going to open the windows of heaven for you and pour you down a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. You're going to prosper in places that people failed in. Your life is going to increase in the face of the people that tried to decrease your life and to decrease your value and to decrease your integrity and your character. You were elevated. You were sore. You're going to do that. I love you. God bless all of you. We'll talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, before we go, don't get scammed, family. You see the scammers. Just delete their reply and their notifications. That's all you need to do. Don't allow these things to get in your spirit because the enemy comes to do what he does. And you and I are here to do what we're supposed to do. And that is to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The people that deserve to be a part of your life, they're coming in. The Holy Spirit is ushering these people in. This is why some of you may be relocating to different places because God is saying, it's a new day. Your change is coming. Did you know that? Your change is coming. And the enemy is going to fight you tooth and nail. But you can't give in. You cannot give in because you're too close. You've come too far. To turn around. You've come too far to doubt God. You've come too far to let fear stop you from taking another step. Do it afraid. Be led by the Spirit of the Lord. Pray and do it afraid. Take a step. Jump. Leap. Because God tells us faith without works is dead. The faith that we have is going to require a corresponding action. That means we have to say something and we have to do something. We can quote scriptures all day long, but we got to live out what we're speaking. We got to live this thing out and we have to do something. Because remember, God said, those of us who put our hands to the plow and look back, my God, we're not fit for the kingdom of God. To some people, you didn't fit the mold of their life. To some people, you weren't eye candy enough. But these superficial people are learning today because your presence is no more. What you brought to the table they don't have access to you anymore. Now they can see the hand of God has been upon your life.